In this video, I'll show you how to send customers a invoice or a payment link in your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. For example, I'll show you how to automatically invoice customers with their invoice detail with the payment link included on the invoice. So for example, here we can actually view the invoice online or we can actually give customers the option to download their invoice. But essentially, it will take them over to this particular page here. And this is how I've customized my design to look all right. So it's got the customer's detail here. It's got the due date, invoice date, and so on. And then here we can see the service that we've actually rendered for this particular client. And then there's also this option for them to pay with PayPal. All right. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, I'll show you how to achieve all this for free. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay. So the first step is to go ahead and download the Slice Invoices plugin. Okay. So throughout this video, we'll be using the plugin method. If you want to achieve a similar result without the use of a plugin, I'll leave a link in the description below to a particular article showing you how to go ahead and do so but for simplicity sake we're going to go ahead and use a plugin for this particular video so let's head over to plugins add new now we'll go ahead and search for slice invoices enable this particular plugin hit activate All right so now we'll configure a few general settings so we'll head over to slice invoices here Okay, then we'll click on invoices. All right, and then here we can customize the required fields. And I'm going to go ahead and enable this option to send admin an email whenever a customer's paid their invoice. Okay. All right, and now we'll go ahead and choose our template design. So we can choose the default one or we can use one of these other two. Okay. So I'm just going to stick with this one for now. Let's hit save change. Now you need to head over to the payments tab. All right, so in the free version currently supports PayPal as a payment method. And you can also instruct customers to do a bank transfer as well. But here you can enable PayPal, just fill in your details. That way you can accept all major bank cards, okay, via PayPal. Okay, so once you've entered in your payments information, next step is to just go ahead and create a invoice with a payment link. All right, so I'm going to click on invoice and then click add new invoice. We can give it a name and add some description. And then here we can enter in our line items. All right, so we can add multiple different line items as well. Next, we want to choose who the client is. So we can choose from our existing clients or we can click add new. OK, and then we can fill out the customer's information here. All right, we can specify a due date as well. We can add our currency payment method, which we don't have one enabler as of recording this. We can choose our tax settings or the price is shown with or without tax and also the tax rate as well. We can configure our terms and condition and let's hit publish. All right, and now we can send this to the client. So we can click this email icon here. We can go ahead and preview the email, configure the subject client, do a payment follow up and also the payment received thank you email. Once you're happy with it, let's hit send email. All right, and this is our invoice. We can view it online. All right, so I've activated our payment method and here you can see this button which says pay with PayPal. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below.